Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty Pra and in this video, I'll be going over the different types of mouse grips, which ones you should use to improve your gameplay and which ones you should not. And also at the end of this video, I will be showcasing my personal mouse grip which I use and why I think it's the best grip. So let's get into the video. Alright, so this is the mouse which I currently use. It is a Logitech G402 gaming mouse and in this video, I will only be covering the mouse grip. So it should not depend much on what type of mouse you have. For that, I might make a separate video on that. The mouse I'm using currently is going to be a budget friendly mouse and for me personally, I have bigger hands, hence it's the best mouse for me. So it re it's really what mouse suits best for you will be the one we'll be using. Anyways, coming to the video on mouse grips, there are actually three different types of mouse grips which are the most popular ones currently. There are also various others which I'm not going to go over simply because I think you'll be needing only these three mouse grips to identify which type of grip you should use and all the other ones are basic versions of these three basic mouse grips. So first we have the palm grip. In the palm grip, you basically will be having your entire palm resting on the mouse in this manner. So all your fingers here are going to be stretched out and are going to be laying on the mouse comfortably. In my opinion, this is the most comfortable grip out there coming to the pros and cons of this grip. So I would say that this grip is very good for aiming since if you are using this grip, you'll be aiming with your arm and not with your wrist and aiming with your arm is much more easier and has more control. Hence, for example, your tracking game becomes way more better. But the problem with this grip is that you won't be able to do large mouse movements easily. And if you want to move freely and if you want to do flick shots and stuff, this thing is not going to be that good. But for tracking game and stuff, it is going to be the best mouse grip for you. So try it out and let me know. Next, we have the finger trip grip. In this grip, you'll be basically holding your mouse with only your fingers and your palm will just be in the air in a non-resting position like this. Benefits of this grip style is that you will be able to flick or move your mouse around a lot, which makes, more easy, makes it more easier if you are, say, playing a game where you need a lot of mouse movement. It's the grip you should use. However, the problem is in shooter games. Since you are using your fingers and not your arms to aim, your aim becomes way worse in my opinion. There is no support nor any lock of your palm to support consistent tracking aim. Finally, we have the third type of grip which is known as the hybrid grip. In this grip, you will basically combine the fingertip grip and the palm grip. Here, you will be holding the mouse like this with only a portion of your palm resting on the mouse and the rest isn't. And since there is a gap over here, you'll be able to move your mouse freely like in a fingertip grip. Hence, it is a combination of both. So this grip is really good because it has the benefits of both the other types of grips. So another version of this hybrid grip would be a claw grip. So, which is basically a hybrid grip, but here you'll be holding your fingers in a claw type position like this. Uh, the problem with this is that many uh, this may cause your hand to strain if you play in this grip for a long period of time. It takes some getting used to. Finally, the grip I use, which I personally think is the best, is the claw grip with some modifications. So I hold the mouse like this, the thumb on the left hand side and my pinky on the right hand side and I place three of my fingers on the buttons. Why I do this is because in games like Apex and Fortnite, where you have to use scroll wheel a lot to move or to say jump or to do edits in case of Fortnite, etc. You will always have a spare finger ready to carry out this action. Also, I don't hold the mouse too far backward. As you can see, I usually try to rest my fingers since uh, again, this grip will cause hand strains if used for a longer period of time. But this grip has significantly improved my gameplay so far. So I encourage you guys to try it out. At first, it may feel weird and you might have some hand strains. But as you get used to it, it will significantly make your aim improve in games, which is ultimately the final goal. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want more such content. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.